am excited now to introduce uh, Craig Rice, who is the Vice President of Community Engagement at Ronald McDonald House Charities of Greater Washington. Uh, what I would call is a, a wonderful jewel in DC for families who need it. Uh, thank you for sponsoring this segment, thank Craig, you, and Craig. welcome to Let's Talk. Well, thank you very much for having me, Denise. It's an absolute pleasure, and I really want to thank the Washington Informer for their continued support uh, of the great organization and the mission that we're trying to accomplish here at Ronald McDonald House Charities. So speaking of mission, tell us a little bit about Ronald McDonald House. I mean, people, you know, think may not really know who you are and, and what how you serve the community. So give us give us a little bit of detail there. Sure. So Ronald McDonald House Charities for over 40 years, our mission has been to provide the essential services that remove barriers, strengthen families and promote healing when children need health care. The unfortunate part about it is we know all too well that so many families uh, experience a serious illness with their child. Uh, they also may experience uh, a critical injury. Uh, and when those children are hospitalized, families want to stay close to those children. Um, and we serve those families who need to travel from home, seeking the best pediatric medical care for their ill or injured child. Uh, so many people know the uh, Roundup that's in uh, McDonald's, but really don't know the fact that we provide these home away from homes for families free of charge, 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. And on average, our families are staying with us for about 26 nights. So you can imagine being away from your home, being away from everything you know for 30 nights. And then on top of that, uh, having the expenses of a hotel or food. Uh, but we take that burden away. And so it's a tremendous resource. No, it sounds like a tremendous resource. I mean, I, I, none of us who are parents or can maybe become parents can really understand the strain uh, and stress when a child is sick and what that means, but also, you know, trying to make sure that self-care part happens as well. And then, you know, if you're traveling places, uh, where are you going to stay? That expense also is an addition that, you know, one needs to take into cons consideration. Where, where is Ronald McDonald House located or how do you house people? What, how does that work? So we actually have two houses. One is on our Fairfax Inova campus in Fairfax, Virginia, uh, and the other is located right next to Children's National Medical Center in Washington, D.C. Our uh, Ronald McDonald House of Washington, D.C. was realized through the efforts of dedicated parents of critically ill children back in 1980. And so that was the nation's 16th Ronald McDonald House. Uh, and then in 1998, we were actually able to through the outpouring of love and support from the community, build a second Ronald McDonald House on the campus of Inova Fairfax. At our DC house, we uh, can house up to 32 families. Keep in mind mm. that uh, family size could be anywhere from three. Uh, we actually have a family that we're housing now that has eight. Uh, and so uh, we really try and make sure that we have that flexibility afforded to families that we serve. And then at our Fairfax Inova house, we actually originally opened that house with eight rooms and then did a multi-year expansion to grow that to 24. And so it's been uh, an amazing journey in terms of continuing to answer the call for support uh, for families in our community. But unfortunately, we see our occupancy numbers continue to rise. And in some cases, we're actually turning families away. It talks about the great need that is there still in our community. Yeah, so I mean, one, how do families access the uh, Ronald McDonald House if they, I mean, now we'll talk about, you know, how we can, the community can support, you know, creating more opportunities. But for now, how does a family access the services? So typically through their social worker or through one of the case managers at hospitals, they do referrals and refer patients to uh, the Ronald McDonald House. But uh, you can also self-refer on our website. So the www.rmhcdc.org, there's actually a place there where it says uh, if you're inquiring about staying with us and you can stay with us absolutely free of charge. Uh, there is a, a small background check just to make sure, uh, but outside of that, families are staying with us uh, and can self-refer or be referred by hospitals or doctors. Okay, and is there a, um, <clears throat> a time limit on how long families can stay with you? 
You know, that's that's the very interesting thing is that um, while we have an average length of stay of 26 nights, uh, we have a family that's been with us for almost 500 nights now. Um, wow. So there is no limit. It's as long as that child is going through care uh, and they and the families need support, we will be there for those families. And when those families are there, because now you have, and you're saying families, it's just not mom or mom and dad. It's the, it, their other parents. It's siblings. the siblings. It's, yeah. that's exactly right. And some of our folks, we understand that some of them, unfortunately, have, uh, are single moms, single dads, and have a family support structure that needs to be there. And so we're making sure that them, as well as their siblings, are all taken care of. Wow. And so how, how is uh, Ronald McDonald House funded? I, I do want to know why, why Ronald McDonald House. I want to understand, you know, the connection between that and whatever. I mean, if you could explain that. Yeah, it's, 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 so, it's, it's so interesting. So McDonald's is our founding and forever partner because it was a McDonald's owner operator in Philadelphia who actually founded the first Ronald McDonald House. So oh. it came out of corporate philanthropy from an individual. Ever since then, McDonald's Corporation, through its Roundup program, so when you go and purchase a Happy Meal or anything like that, those Roundup dollars that folks contribute uh, go to us as an organization. But I will tell you that uh, a lot of people think that the majority of funding comes from our founding and forever partner, and that's actually not the case. Each of us, uh, as Ronald McDonald House charities all throughout the world, are independent 501c3s. And so we have to raise funds ourselves, uh, working with the community and working with owner operators of McDonald's and asking them for their philanthropic support as well. So um, it really is a kind of combination of corporate philanthropy. Uh, we have a lot of community support, individual donors uh, who contribute. And then we do have a couple fundraisers, including our upcoming Red Shoe 5K that's at National Harbor on October 6th. So that'll be okay. a great opportunity for us to raise our feet, to raise hope and awareness and support for families as well. So I want folks who are listening, um, because I think this is what I've seen. If you happen to go to McDonald's and McDonald's, they're talking about now with the, with the um, prices going down, you know, McDonald's is one of those that's offering these really great meals right now, uh, affordable meals. But there's a little box right underneath where you pay. You got and it. That's right. That's where you can put that, you know, instead of them giving all that change to you in your hand or those dollar bills, you can drop it right in there. Correct? You've got and it. That and goes, that's our okay. roundup. Yep. Yeah. And, but you can also do it now on the app. And so that's okay. an exciting thing as well. So I encourage folks for those who are using the mobile app to be able to order uh, their McDonald's food as well. Another great way to help support the organization is to round up through the app as well. You'll see a pick list for you to be able to pick uh, how you want to round up to help Ronald McDonald House Charities. So either way, whether you're in person and you're putting those coins or dollars in that uh, box or whether you're doing it through the mobile app, it all makes a tremendous difference in terms of having a significant impact in us, affording us the ability to help more families. So tell us about the run that's gonna take place in October. So we're really excited about the Red Shoe 5K. It is a great opportunity. It's a beautiful run around uh, National Harbor. Part of it's on the waterfront itself. Uh, Doug Kammerer from NBC4, uh, the nation's meteorologist. The meteorologist will be our MC and host. Uh, we have the DC Police Foundation coming out with a whole bunch of Marvel superheroes. Uh, we have a whole bunch of mascots from different teams that'll be there. We have a kids fun run that's a part of this as well. And some tremendous sponsors, including great folks like United Healthcare, uh, McDonald's Corporation itself, and so many others who have really stepped up to make sure that we're doing all we can to help support our families. But uh, I will just say that Doug Kammerer, meteorologist, has guaranteed it's going to be a beautiful day. And so <laughs> because of that, I'm encouraging folks to come out, run, walk, uh, whatever the case may be. There are also volunteer opportunities for folks as well and sponsorship opportunities for you if you're a company and you want to spread the word about your company and support a good cause. And you said red shoe, the red shoe run, right? Because, of course, Ronald McDonald has those big red shoes. So. That's exactly right. Yeah. So it's the Red Shoe 5K, <laughs> but you can find all of that information by going to our website, uh, rmhcdc.org, or you can also go www.redshoe5k.org as well. Either way, it'll okay. take you right to our site. Before we go, though, you, you said something that really um, touched me. You said that the numbers of families are growing. 
And, um, you know, it's, it is of concern. That means that more of our children are being faced with uh, really critical health issues. And uh, I don't, I know you don't know why, because that's not part of what you do. But um, tell me how great the need is right now. Yeah, well, well, actually, we've actually done some studies. We work with some groups who've actually analyzed. Uh, and, and when we do the intake process, we ask our families uh, a lot of questions about their backgrounds and, you know, how, why they would need us. I can tell you right now that it's significant food insecurity, significant housing insecurity, significant medical insurance insecurity. And so because of that, um, because we see the rising cost of health care, because we see the rising cost of housing, because we see the rising cost of food, it is impacting so many more of our families and so many more people are in need. Plus, um, we're actually starting to identify after COVID, post-COVID, we had more people who are more in tune with saying something isn't right. We have more of our community who is actually taking their uh, children to the doctor to the hospitals, identifying, saying something just doesn't seem right. And it's unfortunate, but then we see in those cases anecdotally to where some doctors are saying, I need you to immediately go to children's right away because there is something significantly wrong and we need to treat your child right away. Um, it's a good thing being that we're starting to see more of our families more in tune with their health but it is something that concerns me about how many more people, especially in our communities of color and those that are socioeconomically impacted, who are still not getting the treatment that they need and that they deserve. Right, right. Until it's at a critical point where a child now has an extended stay in a hospital and a family needs a place to stay in order to be close. So that's one reason why, you know, I'm, I'm glad you're here to talk to us about Ronald McDonald House. I hope that our viewers will do their part in supporting what uh, the need is and uh, to come on out there on October 6th. There it is. And I can't thank you enough, Denise, for continuing to raise the awareness. I mean, you know, look, whether you're volunteering at our house and there are great opportunities to do that. I always okay. say it's time, talent, <laughs> treasure. Uh, so it's time, you know, if you can volunteer at our house, please do that. You can also do that through the website. It talks about volunteer opportunities. Uh, of course, with talent, we have all different kinds of things from landscaping projects to all kinds of things that help to allay our costs so that we can put more money directly to our families. And of course, treasure. If you can donate, please, by all means, whatever it is, every dollar matters and helps and make sure you round up whenever you go to McDonald's. All right. Sounds good, Craig. Thank you so very much for being with us. Thanks for sponsoring the segment. And uh, we certainly do wish you the best. And feel free to come back anytime.